Hi, Eric Anderson from the Hit Farm Marketing Department here once again. And today we're going to do a before and after of a Wilson Electronics amplifier installation. Our client's home is situated between two cell sites resulting in poor signal. What we're going to do is we're going to show you exactly what the present signal conditions are, we're going to walk you through the installation of the amplifier, and then we're going to plug in the amplifier and show you exactly what happens with a Wilson Electronics amplifier system. Our first pre-installation reading is out on the sun deck of the home. Right now, we're reading minus 107 signal, which is about as low as it gets. Our second pre-installation signal reading is in the dining area of the home. In this, in this area, we're looking at minus 111 signal, which is even worse than outside. Hi, here we are on the second floor of the home and are with our third pre-installation signal reading. At this spot, we're seeing minus 99 signal. Wilson amplifier installations are relatively simple. An antenna is mounted on the roof so it can communicate easily with the cell site. The cable is then run inside the building to the amplifier, which does the work of making the signal stronger. The stronger signal is then sent to the inside antenna, which distributes it within the home and ultimately to your phone. The key to an effective Wilson amplifier installation is mounting your external antenna in a spot that sees the best signal. More signal coming into the amplifier is going to result in a larger coverage area on the inside, so the extra time and effort it takes to mount the antenna in the best spot is going to pay off. In this particular instance, you can see the installer has chosen to mount the Yagi antenna at the peak of the roof. He's using a J-mount, which is a mount typically used for satellite TV installations, but it works really nicely for the Wilson Yagi antenna. our client is looking for a nice clean installation. Therefore, we're running the cable just underneath the eaves and down the side of the building to make it as unobtrusive as we possibly can. Next, in order to bring our cables inside the building, we're going to use the existing channels already used by the power cable, the TV cable, and the telephone cable. We're just gonna go to the boxes that cover those cables take the lid off and use those exact same conduits to bring our Wilson cable inside the building too. One important note about running a cable inside the building is make sure that the cable just before it enters the building drops below the level of the point of entry. This makes it impossible for water to run down the cable and get inside the building. Once we get inside the building, we're looking for a place to mount the amplifier. We want some place that's close to power, we want it to have nice airflow, and we also want to be able to see the lights on the top of the amplifier so we can see how it's working. So at this point, our Yagi is mounted on the peak of the roof of the building, cable is run down the side of the building and in. We've mounted our amplifier, so all that is left to do is mount the inside antenna. The amplifier system is now fully installed. This handy Android app shows us the signal rising drastically once the Wilson system is turned on. And that wraps up our Wilson Electronics amplifier installation for this afternoon. We've taken a home that was saying zero to one bars throughout and we've brought it up to full bars. Another great installation.